This must be a dream or something Can't believe my eyes gotta touch it Could this be reality? Cause what I see was just a dream But now it feels so real to me What's up guys, this is Valentino with Bigger Creations and today we're gonna make a banger. I really want this one to have a hard 808 and uh, just a really punchy kick. And so today I'm gonna show you some of the things that I do to make sure that my kick and my 808 don't compete with each other so that your beat can turn out to be a banger too. So let's jump right into it. But before I do, do me a favor, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that you've got notifications on so that you don't miss future videos. Let's jump right into it. So I'm gonna start with this sample that I found on Splice and this is what it sounds like. I just love these chords. So in the aspect of the chord progression, I'm gonna keep it exactly the same. I'm not really gonna chop this up, but I am gonna change up the sample so it sounds a little bit different. Um, because I just, I, I love the chord progression already, so I don't want to change that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an NLS channel, and just, just to add a little bit of analog saturation. It's really subtle, but if you add it to a, every single track on your song, it really does make a difference, as well as on your mastering chain. So um, mess with that, and mess with some of the settings here. You'll see that this is actually really cool. But uh, I just add a little bit here. And then let's change the key a little bit. I'm gonna put it up for semitones. And then we'll take out some of the high end so that uh, I have space to put some vocals and some hi hats and some other things that should live in this frequency. So that's pretty much the sample. Let's add the drums and the rest of the instruments and then I'll show you how to make the kick and the 808 not compete with each other. Okay, so I'm gonna solo the 808 and the kick and I'm gonna show you what it sounds like. Um, so the first thing that I like to do is one, if you go into the kick, you can add an EQ. And again, this also depends on the type of sample you have. Some samples will already have this rolled off. Um, so let's listen to the kick just now your 808 is going to be right in this area right here. So usually what, what I like to do is actually do a low cut filter to get rid of those low frequencies because that's where your 808 is going to live and you don't want that to be overlapping with the kick. You want the kick to have kind of its own space and usually the kick hits hard right around here. 
So takes away a little bit of that bassy sound, but that gives room for the, the 808 to really hit through that frequency right there. So that's the first thing that I make sure. I make sure that I listen to my sample and make sure that it's not taking over the frequencies that the 808 should be living in. So once I've taken that out, um, I go over to my 808 and after processing my 808 to sound how I want it, which is uh, just like this. So what I like to do here is actually a uh, sidechain compression. And that's just a fancy word to say that basically you're setting up a compressor to react to something else, to another track, to another instrument. And basically what you're telling the, the compressor to do is to take into effect when this other instrument is happening. So in this case, what we want to do is set up a compressor that sidechains to our kick drum. So on our 808 track, we're going to add a compressor, and this is just the stock compressor. And then you're going to see this part that says sidechain. You're going to go in here, and you're going to find your kick drum. It, this is basically going to list out all of your tracks. So find your kick drum, and what, that's, what that is telling the compressor to do is, hey, anytime there's any sound happening in the kick track, let's add a compressor to the 808. And by compressing the 808, it gives space sonically for that kick to really punch through. So that's what we're gonna do here. So once you select the kick here, there's already some basic compression settings here, but you can adjust it. Usually I kind of mess with the ratio, um, but what you're gonna see here is I'm gonna play the kick and the 808 together, and you're gonna see that every time the kick happens, this meter right here is going to show that there's compression happening. So uh, watch this. So you'll notice here, it's basically compressing every time the kick makes a sound. And that just gives the 808 um, some space when the kick's not happening, but then it also gives the kick space when the kick needs to happen. So basically the 808 kind of just takes a little backseat when the kick comes in so that the kick can just really punch through the mix. But then, uh, you know, that's where your release happens. Like the compression is releasing quickly so that once the kick has its initial transient, your 808 has space to come back in. So it never seems like your 808 is actually disappearing. It's just giving a little bit more presence to your kick. So here's the cool thing about sidechain compression. You can actually do this with anything. So in a lot of music, you'll actually see that they'll grab a synth and sidechain the synth to a different instrument so that basically the synth kind of ducks out. Um, and it's you can get some really, really cool effects by using sidechaining. But one of the most common ways of using sidechaining is to make sure that your kick and your 808 don't clash with each other. So um, super, super simple but super, super useful tip and something I wish I would have known when I first started mixing. So that's how I got this kick and this 808 to kind of live together. And now it's time for my favorite part. Let's add some vocals, baby. This must be a dream or something. Can't believe my eyes got to touch it. Could this be reality? Cause what I see was just a dream But now it feels so real to me Mama said don't let your dreams be real Only in dreams Baby girl make what you want Haters roll with the breeze So there you have it guys If you like this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up Make sure you're subscribed and you got notifications on So that you never miss a beat And as always if you ever have any questions Or want to see more content Check me out on Instagram. Keep making beats.